Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Christy Lukasiak, and you probably might recognize me from Dance Moms. And speaking of Dance Moms, today I'm actually going to be talking about Dance Moms group dances. I know, very exciting, right? But today I am going to be telling you my best group dances from Dance Moms, like in my opinion. I was rewatching all of these old dances, and first of all, okay, I can't believe how little the girls were. Honestly, I don't watch Dance Moms. I know everyone thinks I do. I watched the episodes probably once when they were airing, but I don't go back and rewatch them. And I have a hard time remembering like what happened in real life and what happened on TV. But then some of those fights popped up and I was like, ah! Um, but the dances were really fun. We are going to start with number 10. And number 10 is Bollywood and Vine. I know, it's kind of like one that we don't really think about too much. But when I saw that dance, I remembered how much I loved it. And there's probably a lot of things in it that were wrong. Um, so we're just gonna kind of do a blanket statement here. Like, I apologize if there were things that were not culturally appropriate. However, the dance itself and the way the girls presented it and just the number in and of itself, I really liked it. Oh, Barnes wants to tell me what his favorite Dance Moms group dances are. So hello Barnes, what was your favorite group dance from Dance Moms? You don't like to talk about that. So Bollywood and Vine is number 10. Plus I thought the costumes were really pretty. Okay, number nine, Frost. I know, Frost is another one that we don't really think about too much, but it was really a beautiful number. Um, when I found that one and I was re-watching it, you know, Kalani opened the dance and obviously Kalani's like legs and feet are just to die for. And again, I love that the girls were a little bit older and the costumes were beautiful and those lyrical numbers on stage are just, they're exquisite to watch and the music was beautiful. And I feel like m some of the more popular numbers that everyone talks about are always from the earlier seasons. So I was trying to, you know, include some numbers from the later seasons and Frost definitely was one of my favorites. The next one, number eight. So This Is My Beauty gets a special place on my list because it was the first Nationals dance that they won with. They were so precious and little. Oh my God. And I can remember when we were, you know, making those bras, like who puts their six-year-old in a bra on television? Us. You know, and I remember like Kenzie's bra was literally like this big and then it was sent away to be like adorned with roses and things. And I just thought it was such a beautiful number and they were so, they were smiling and they just looked lovely. And the moment that they won, confetti was flying and they were so, so excited and proud. And it just makes me think of how, how naive we were, you know, like we were so clueless and, um, the show, I think, had only aired one episode at that point. So we were still just a little dance group who was happened to be in Lake Tahoe. And it was just really a lovely memory to think back on. Number seven. I think you're going to be surprised when I tell you what this one is, because I think everyone's going to put this on a list of dances I like least. And that is Broken Dolls. I know because Chloe, um, what she did a botmont and she fell on her butt. Um, and I know it was very dramatic and she was like thrown off a little. But when I watched that dance, I love it. Like their little feet are going so fast. There was so much ballet technique in it. I thought they looked really beautiful. That's definitely in my top favorites. Um, again, even though Chloe fell, I don't think it distracted from the dance. I think that because she just picked up and kept going. Um, we all know that sometimes when you have a malfunction and you keep going on stage, it works to your favor. We've seen it happen with other dances on the show, right? Oh, my next favorite. This one is so near and dear to my heart and it is Born to Dance. I absolutely loved this number. This was season two and season two to me is one of my favorite seasons of Dance Moms to look back on because the show had aired, 
people were watching, you know, we had a little bit of recognition, you know, we were in New York doing all of these great big, you know, new shows. And, um, actually when we were in New York, kind of crazy, we were on all the buses, like all of our, um, ads were on all the buses in New York. And I kept saying like, wouldn't it be ironic if someone got hit by a dance bombs bus? I, I mean, you know, I'm just saying born to dance was such a beautiful number. Those gold costumes were exquisite on stage. The music, oh, I still, when I saw that number again and I forgot how much I loved it, I teared up just like I did when I watched it for the first time. And I just remember sitting in the audience and everyone went, oh, when the curtains opened and they were on stage and they were like introducing the cast of Dance Moms. That was one of my moments that um, really sticks out in my experience as a positive one. So I love Born to Dance. Okay, number five, this is a fun one. Glam. Okay, so glam probably wasn't in your, you know, your thoughts that I would love that dance, but glam was the dance that they were gray and they were zombies. That dance was really good. They had the pedestals. It was kind of creepy. Um, it was a little bit sassy, but when I watched it, I loved it. And I actually loved it at the time. I mean, it was a little weird with all the gore, you know, cause they had like bloody open wounds, but they were zombies. Um, so it was fun. I think Brooke even had a sash that said like prom queen or something. Um, but I really was entertained by glam. I thought it was fun. So glam definitely ranks in my top dances. Number four is Twilight. I, okay, I felt a little bit bad choosing this dance because not all of the girls were in it and like I don't wanna exclude anyone. However, I really did love this dance. So it was just Chloe, Maddie, and Brooke and then Nick was our guest. So he was a vampire and the girls were like in these white nightgowns with their hair down, or actually it was pulled back in a ribbon. And it was just one of those dances that I think was so effortlessly beautiful to watch. And it told like that creepy vampire story. And I just thought the emotions were really captivating. And um, I don't know, again, it's the music, like that music was great. Number three, so we're taking it back old school for number three, and that is Private Eyes. Do you remember Private Eyes? Such a good dance. They were so sassy and little, and they like, you know, were like these little cute, like Charlie's Angels type dances in their little gold lame jackets. And Chloe opened the dance with that beautiful, like straddle leap across the stage. But it was just so, so fun to watch. And it was so sassy and cute. And it to me was the epitome of like a fun jazz dance for, you know, dance moms. And I will just say this, there is a meme of Kelly and I from that episode that is so iconic and it's universal. I can use this meme like to just answer so many questions in my life and I do. And every, when I saw us sitting in the audience in those outfits, I was like, oh my God, this is where that meme is from. And then I realized that the meme came because Jill had said something and Kelly and I were reacting to Jill. So enjoy that meme because it's a good one. Okay, number two, this is a good one and it's very popular. Um, number two is the last text. That number in person was you held your breath the entire time you watched that dance in person. When those girls took that stage, it was like, <gasps> you realize as each person kind of passes away at different points during the dance, you're like, oh my God. Um, very powerful, very moving. Not one single soul in that audience like could speak or breathe. I cry a lot when I watch dances because I'm emotional, but that one like was truly breathtaking to watch. So props to the dance teachers and the choreographers. Regardless of any kind of bad blood or whatever, I will say when push comes to shove, 
They are amazing choreographers. I, I can't take that away from anyone. So I always appreciated that Chloe got to dance those numbers because I truly think they were, um, they were special. And so that's talent. Finally, my favorite group dance from Dance Moms. Can anyone guess what it is? I bet some of you know, and I'm taking it back to season one and it is Where Have All the Children Gone? It's still to this day one of the numbers that gets brought up all the time to me, that haunting voiceover, the girls in those white dresses, you know, being murdered in different ways um, on the playground. And it just is one of those classics. It really is. It was very creepy, moving, touching, all of it. And here's like a little known fact. That dance was actually done at our studio a few years before by the older children, and they were all in gray. And Brooke was a little girl at the time, and she was in pink, and she was part of that number. But then when it was like reimagined for the show, and our girls had a chance to do it, I was really excited because I had loved that number before. And it's still, when I watch it, it's one of those dances that I'm just like, oh, that was so good. Love it. Okay, so I have to give two honorable mentions though because I had a hard time like leaving this one off the list, but you know, I don't know, I just did. But I have to give a special shout out to Rosa Parks because that was <laughs> two things. First of all, I thought Nia was fabulous as Rosa Parks. I don't think anyone else could have nailed it quite like she did. Um, and I thought the dance was really cool with the bus seats. You know, anytime there's a prop that's used in a fun, like not a fun, but a creative and useful way. I love that. Um, but I have to say when Brooke forgot the dance at the end and sort of stood there, that will forever be one of my favorite Brooke moments because Brooke, she, she always was miserable on the show, but Brooke is very funny in real life. And she was just like, I don't know, I forgot. Um, so I appreciate her candidness and the fact that she really didn't care. And then the last honorable mention I have to say, and this is for a very special reason, I have to say the upside down. And that might be a dance that you don't even think about. The reason I give this a special shout out is because Clara made an appearance on stage. So for the rest of her life, Clara can say like she danced on Dance Moms because at the very end, she skips out, she's holding her doll and Chloe picks her up and slams her on the gurney. So I forever will have that memory of both of my girls on stage from Dance Moms. So that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed me ranking my best group dance from Dance Moms and comment down below what your favorite dance is. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so that you know when I'm posting. Um, oh, and if you wanna check out any of my other reaction videos to Dance Moms, just click one of these little videos here and um, I'll see you next week. Bye.